Welcome to Eternal Bible Quiz. Today, we will explore one of the most powerful stories of faith in the Bible, the sacrifice of Abraham. In this quiz, we have 25 challenging questions that test your knowledge of Abraham's unwavering faith and trust in God. In our first question, we encourage you to reflect on this story and share what lesson Abraham's willingness to sacrifice Isaac has taught you about faith and obedience. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and comment your thoughts. Let's dive into the story of Abraham's great test of faith. Question 1. What lesson can we learn from Abraham's willingness to sacrifice Isaac? A. Faith in God's promises. B. Obedience to God. C. Trusting God even when it's hard. D. All of the above. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, all of the above, explaining in the Bible. Abraham's actions demonstrate faith, obedience, and trust, even in the most challenging circumstances. He knew God's promises were true despite the situation. What has this story taught you about faith and obedience? Share your thoughts in the comments and we'll feature the best response in the next video. Question 2. How long did Abraham and Isaac travel before reaching the mountain for the sacrifice? A. One day. B. Two days. C. Three days. D. Seven days. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, three days, explaining in the Bible. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off, Genesis 22, 4, KJV. Faith often requires perseverance. The journey itself is part of the test. Question three, what does Abraham's willingness to sacrifice Isaac reveal about his character? A. He was stubborn. B. He was scared. C. He was faithful and obedient. D. He didn't love Isaac. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. He was faithful and obedient. Explaining in the Bible, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. Hebrews 11:17 KJV. Abraham's faith and obedience show the depth of his relationship with God, trusting him even when it seemed impossible. Question 4. What did Isaac ask Abraham as they ascended the mountain? A. Where is the lamb for the offering? B. Why are we going up? C. What will we offer to God? D. Will we return safely? You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Where is the lamb for the offering? Explaining in the Bible, and Isaac spoke unto Abraham his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Genesis 22, 7, KJV. Isaac's question reflects his innocence, and Abraham's answer shows trust in God's provision, even when the plan is unclear. Question 5. How did Abraham respond when Isaac asked about the lamb? A. We don't need a lamb. B. God will provide a lamb. C. I will provide it. D. We will find one on the way. You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter B. God will provide a lamb. Explaining in the Bible, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Genesis 22, 8, KJV. Abraham's answer highlights his unwavering faith that God will provide, a lesson in trusting God's provision. Question 6. What stopped Abraham from sacrificing Isaac? A. A loud thunder. B. Isaac pleading. C. An angel calling out. D. A servant shouting. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, an angel calling out, explaining in the Bible, and the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. Genesis 22, 11, KJV. God intervenes at the right moment, providing an alternative and showing his faithfulness to those who trust him. Question 7. What did Abraham find caught in a thicket to sacrifice instead of Isaac? A. A ram. B. A lamb. C. A goat. D. A bull. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, a ram, explaining in the Bible. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. Genesis 22:13 KJV. God's provision is always present, even in moments of testing and sacrifice. Question 8. Who carried the wood for the burnt offering up the mountain? A. Abraham B. Isaac C. A servant D. An angel You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Isaac, explaining in the Bible. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. Genesis 22, 6, KJV. Isaac carrying the wood symbolizes Christ carrying the cross, illustrating themes of sacrifice and obedience. Question 9. What mountain did Abraham ascend for the sacrifice? A. Mount Sinai. B. Mount Carmel. C. Mount Moriah D. Mount Zion You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Mount Moriah Explaining in the Bible And get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Genesis 22, 2, KJV. Mount Moriah later becomes the site of the temple in Jerusalem, symbolizing the connection between faith and worship. Question 10. Why was Abraham willing to sacrifice Isaac according to the New Testament? Hebrews 11, 19. A. He thought Isaac would run away. B. He believed God could raise Isaac from the dead. C. He didn't care about Isaac. D. He knew God would stop him. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. He believed God could raise Isaac from the dead, explaining in the Bible, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. Hebrews 11:19 KJV. 
Abraham's faith was so strong that he believed in God's power over life and death, trusting fully in his promises. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. What was Abraham's reaction when God provided the ram for the offering? A. He wept. B. He worshipped. C. He questioned. D. He left immediately. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. He worshipped, explaining in the Bible. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Genesis 22:13 KJV. True faith leads to worship and gratitude when we witness God's provision in our lives. Question 12. How old was Isaac when Abraham took him to be sacrificed? A. 8 B. 15 C. The Bible doesn't specify D. 25 You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. The Bible doesn't specify, explaining in the Bible. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son. Genesis 22, 6, KJV. While Isaac's age is not specified, the focus of the story is on Abraham's faith and obedience, not Isaac's age. Question 13. What did God promise Abraham after the test of faith? A. He would bless him. B. He would multiply his descendants. C. He would make his descendants mighty. D. All of the above. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D all of the above, explaining in the Bible, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Genesis 22, 18 KGDV. God's promises are often fulfilled through our faith and obedience, with blessings extending far beyond our immediate circumstances. Question 14. How does Abraham's story encourage us in our own faith journey? A. To question God more. B. To rely on ourselves. C. To trust God even when we don't understand. D. To fear failure. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C to trust God even when we don't understand. Explaining in the Bible, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. Hebrews 11:17 KJV. Abraham's unwavering trust in God's promises reminds us to remain faithful in our own challenges and uncertainties. Question 15, what name did Abraham give to the place where God provided the ram? A. Mount of Testing B. Jehovah, Jireh C. Yahweh's Peak D. Mount Moriah You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, Jehovah, Jireh, explaining in the Bible, and Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Genesis 22:14 KJV. 
Jehovah Jireh means the Lord will provide, reminding us that God always provides in times of need. Question 16. Who did God ask Abraham to sacrifice as a test of faith? A. Isaac B. Ishmael C. Lot D. Eliezer You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Isaac, explaining in the Bible, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering. Genesis 22, 2, KJV. Abraham's faith is shown in his obedience to God, even in the most difficult command, trusting God's plan beyond his understanding. Question 17. What does the ram in the story of Abraham and Isaac symbolize for Christians today? A. Sin. B. God's anger. C. Christ's sacrificial death. D. The law. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, Christ's sacrificial death. Explaining in the Bible, and Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Genesis 22, 13, KJV. The ram provided as a substitute foreshadows Jesus Christ, the ultimate sacrifice for the sins of humanity. Question 18, how does the promise God gave to Abraham impact future generations? A. It ended with Abraham. B. It continues through Jesus Christ. C. It only applied to the Israelites. D. It was a temporary blessing. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. It continues through Jesus Christ, explaining in the Bible, And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Genesis 22, 18, KJV. God's promise to Abraham finds its ultimate fulfillment in Jesus Christ, extending blessings to all nations. Question 19. What did God say about Abraham's faith after he passed the test? A. Now I know that you fear God. B. You have done well. C. I will bless you more. D. You have failed to trust me. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, now I know that you fear God. Explaining in the Bible, for now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. Genesis 22:12 KJV. Fear of God, in this context, represents deep reverence and trust, knowing that God's ways are higher than our own. Question 20. Who told Abraham to stop before he sacrificed Isaac? A. God himself. B. Isaac. C. The angel of the Lord. D. Sarah. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, the angel of the Lord, explaining in the Bible. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. Genesis 22, 11, KJV. God intervenes through his angel, showing that he does not delight in human sacrifice, but values faith and trust.
Question 21. What did Abraham tell his servants when they reached the mountain? A. We will return. B. Wait here until I return alone. C. Prepare for a burnt offering. D. Stay here, we will go together. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is, letter A, we will return. Explaining in the Bible, abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Genesis 22, 5 KJV. Abraham's statement reflects his faith that both he and Isaac would return, trusting God's plan even though it was unclear at the time. Question 22. How does Abraham's test of faith mirror God's sacrifice of Jesus Christ? A. Both involved a beloved son. B. Both involved a lamb or ram. C. Both sons were willing participants. D. All of the above. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, all of the above. Explaining in the Bible, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Genesis 22, 2, KJV. The story of Abraham and Isaac foreshadows God's own sacrifice of Jesus, his only beloved son, for the salvation of the world. Question 23. How did Abraham respond to God's command to sacrifice Isaac? A. He questioned God. B. He immediately obeyed. C. He ran away. D. He refused. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. He immediately obeyed, explaining in the Bible. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and went unto the place of which God had told him. Genesis 22.3 KJV Immediate obedience to God's call demonstrates deep faith and trust in his wisdom. Question 24. What emotion did Abraham display throughout the test? A. Fear B. Trust C. Doubt D. Anger You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Trust, explaining in the Bible. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Genesis 22, 8, KJV. Trust in God's provision is a central theme of the story, showing that faith requires complete reliance on God's goodness. Question 25. What is the central theme of the story of Abraham and Isaac? A. Disobedience. B. Sacrifice. C. Faith and obedience. D. Fear of God. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Faith and obedience. Explaining in the Bible, by faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. Hebrews 11:17 KJV. The story emphasizes the importance of trusting God fully and being obedient, even when we don't understand His plan. Great job on completing this quiz. How many questions did you get right? Let us know your score in the comments and don't forget to share your thoughts about Abraham's story of faith. We'll feature the best responses in our next video. If you enjoyed this quiz, be sure to like, 
subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future quizzes and Bible explorations. Thank you for joining us today. And remember, just as Abraham trusted God, we too are called to trust in His promises, no matter how difficult the test. Until next time, stay blessed and faithful.